<laughs> I legit, I like his face. It's been a good old time playing that Aquari game. I like how Princess What's Her Name doesn't care. Okay, I, I see it now. I always have a really hard time seeing Psychro's face in this game. It always looks I mean, like, it's like a weird. It's like super dark blue. Well, it always looks like a weird, like. It's his helmet. It looks like a like a man on the moon face, but you can see like the face inside the helmet. He moves so fast, like his sprite. I have a hard time like making out his face. I'm like, that's Psycho every time I see him. Hey everybody, we're playing Earthworm Jim 2 for Super NES. This game's fucking weird. This is not a conventional game. And Very you know good, what it though. is? Anything, Anything but, but tangerines. tangerines. We've been doing a lot of synchronization lately. I've I've yeah. like I've named a couple of our episodes now synchronized whatever. Huh. This uh, first level, and there's one later in the game, almost at the end. But these are like basically the only levels that play like the first game. This game, like, I don't want to. I'm not gonna say it's all mini games. You'll see. God, this game's fucking weird, but I love it. Uh, I never had this one growing up. I always like, I always rented the first one. I rented the shit out of the first one. Uh, my friend Kenny had the second one. Mm. And uh, I only played the second one a few times, but there's one level that really sticks out in my mind. I, it's level three or four. We'll get to it. Okay, cool. All Happy right. oinkers. Yeah, dude, I gotta get some pigs. Get you a pig. Okay. There we go. I got a pig! Look at him go! Oh my god. Oh, I love this game. This is like... Fuck yeah, this is like if Weird Al made a game, he would make Earthworm Jim. I can totally see that. Jim even plays that accordion. Oh, why did I get the bubble gun? It's useless. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> Can't you, like, jump off the pig and get the brick guns? No, I gotta launch that pig. Into a fishbowl. Yeah, it's Bob the Goldfish's home. This whole level's about fucking with Bob the Goldfish. Okay. I forget, like, the exact synopsis, but, like, Jim has, like, some stupid task to do. Like, he has to, like, go to the bathroom or something, and he, like, literally has to cross the galaxy, like, past all his enemies to do it. I can't remember. It's, huh. it's something really fucking dumb like that. No wonder it always looks like he's got a poop. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this isn't the bonus stage, is it? No, this is just fucking a little extra they threw in on me. Okay. Are you there gonna leave go. the bonus stage? Uh, yeah, I probably will, because I just aced through that. Alright. I just realized the aliens carry boomsticks, like yeah. blunderbuss, Elmer Fudd guns. That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, it's up there. Yeah, I'll do it, because I, I fucking, like, actually practiced it. I hate this bonus stage. Yeah, it, no, it looks like a like, huge pain in the ass. It doesn't even let you just, like, fucking lose if you lose. You just have to you have restart to it. it. You have to finish it. I like the really shitty 8-bit Jaws poster with what looks like a rainbow above his nose, but I know it's the woman's. Now, I would love to try and recreate that in just big blocky graphics and just print that out for myself at home. Oh, if the grannies even clip you, you're fucked. You can't let them fucking, like, yeah. you can't let one pixel of them touch you. Yeah, try not to hit the grannies. Okay. Well, you got hit by the umbrella, technically. Oh, fuck yeah, I did it. Get okay, that. maybe oh, no, you're not gonna get the. I'm not even gonna risk it, dude. I'm gonna fall down the stairs and break my dick and have to do the fucking granny thing again. Nah, nobody wants to do that. You know the Rugrats games for PS1? Uh, kinda? We like, get fucking search for Reptar and shit? Yeah. What would you do if, like, uh, you were playing one of the shitty Rugrats PS1 games and when you started it up, it asked you if you prefer mountain climbing or hiking? And then, uh, when you started it, it just dropped you in the middle of the burning Pickles house, and, like, fucking, like, Stu Pickles' reanimated corpse, like, comes sprinting at you down the hall, screaming with its mouth open, and you have to get out of the house before he gets you, because if he gets you, he grabs you and, like, fucking vomits blood down Tommy's throat. What is this, Resident Evil? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got electric chain. It's so brutal. If you land it, it fucks you up. When I first played this, I thought it was a power up. Cause <laughs> I, I don't know. You don't, I mean, you, don't it's know a you don't know any better in this game. No, I, I saw that it was an electric chair. I just no. legitimately thought it would help me, but no, it shocks the fuck out of you. <laughs> Gives you a power up. <laughs> I fucking love Jim's like stance, his whole like while he's shooting, the way his face looks and everything. Like that's how I draw characters with guns. Yeah, with the big eye using gun just sights. Just angry, yeah. This is the coolest gun in the game. It looks like sticky hands. I gotta use the boogies. Yeah, it does. That's what I. That's what I thought it was uh, when I was playing this game for the first. time. Okay, let me see. Ah. See that? It's like a glove. Oh, it is a glove. You actually shoot them out of his fingers. Yeah, I think it's called the three-fingered glove. Oh, why even give me the bubble gun? Whoa. Yeah, that's the. Uh, the oh, that was a homing missile. Buster. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, homing missile. Quite well. 
feel like this game is gonna have a lot of puns. Oh yeah, dude. Heavy pigs! Give me that heavy pig! Oh, it's Bob the Goldfish. Did you see him? Ah! There he is! Well, you gotta throw it at him? Uh, no. I am gonna have to fight Bob, though. How do you fight Bob? You'll see. It's a tricky boss fight. Okay. There we go. Piggy pigs. Now you can take one of the pigs? Get out of here, Bob! Ouch. Oh, oh you down here, that's right. Fuck. You gotta okay. bring that pig. No, I don't gotta bring the pig, we're good. Oh, you just didn't put the pig on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that a uh, fish? Dude, now I gotta fight Bob. Alright, let's hope I can do this. <laughs> Fatality! <laughs> That's I didn't great. do anything. That's just the first boss fight. It's just, it's just a little. Well, I mean, it's a good way scene. to introduce you. Thanks, Cal. Thanks, Cal. They always, they always even smiled at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is learns in the soil. No, I'm gonna need your help. I think this game had a problem with like when it was released. It was called too short, and I think they realized that while they were making it because like. A lot of artificial elongation starts right about here. Okay. This level's like really fun and the physics are super impressive, but it goes oh. on for entirely way too long. Yeah, this is really awesome to see on a 16-bit system. very, very cool and very physics-based. You're actually dropping the sand or dirt or whatever from the top and it's landing on the bottom. Yeah, that's it's how you get through this whole level. It's cool. It just it goes on way longer than it has any right to. But apparently it should only last a minute and a half. Uh, no, I get more time. I get a lot, oh, more, you get time. A lot more time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's deceiving. This game, uh, I never knew this came out for PS One and Saturn. I it totally did. need to, I totally need to find a Saturn copy of this, even though I'm probably gonna pay out the ass for it. I fucking love and obsess over Saturn. A lot of Saturn collecting. And uh, I was talking to the guy at the game store recently about this. A lot of Saturn collecting comes from the novelty of owning something on Saturn, and I can full-heartedly admit that. Yeah. But, uh, goddamn if I don't love that little console. I know, it's always looked cool. We've only played, like, what, Virtual Cop or... Yeah, it was Virtual Cop on there, right? You've played Virtual Cop, Virtual, Virtual Fighter, and you've probably played, like, some of the Daytona games with me. Okay. I, you've also played Area 52 with me. Ah, uh, yes, Area 52. That's a really good one. Yes, it is. I love that arcade port. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's what the Saturn... Uh, the, fa the Saturn well, was no, the... Sorry, not the arcade port, but the original arcade game. Well, yeah, the Saturn... Yeah, that, that is just the game. The Saturn was the first console. I Arguably, I, mean, I don't know. I'm almost positive. I, don't, I never want to talk out my ass, but I'm pretty sure. Saturn was the first console capable of, like, fucking spot-on home emulation of arcade games. Well, I mean, hey, and if we're wrong, we, we was counting. Let us know. Whatever. Yeah. Fucking fight me, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit? Uh, I gotta go up here. Oh, God, this music's so good. There's, like, a, it's such, like, a... I want, what is that sandwich doing down there? Uh, bean sandwich. Looks like a french fry sandwich. I'm totally, uh, I'm totally lost. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I should have shot the dirt away. Okay, I... Oh. Paying attention. There's, like, such a, a long-running, like, fucking blood feud about which version's better, Super NES or Mega Drive, and, like, people fight all day, and there's no clear consensus. It's funny. <laughs> There's definitely, um, like, there's some songs just sound better on the Super Nintendo, some sound better on, uh, the Mega Drive. Okay. So I got, uh, fuck. Oh, there's snot! There it is. Yeah, there was snot in the other area, too. I fucking- there's a lot of mechanics to this game. There's a lot more to this than the first one. Oh, fudge. <laughs> I can scream. Ah! Oh, it's you! You're fucking throwing shit. Ah, ah! Jesus. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap, yeah, we're out second. of time. Fuck! Oh fuck! Meatballs! Oh. Okay. Oh, so that's just the d countdown timer to meatballs getting to dropped To meatballs. Down. Okay. Countdown to the meatballs! Well, I guess the only answer to that is, uh, PIZZA! Uh, wait, what? Why'd you tell us all that bad stuff about yourself? Good old Papa Mariano. Papa Mariano? 
I like these little ghost guys. I think they're supposed to be maggots or termite babies. Huh. They look like little ghosts to me. They look like little worms to me. Ooh, well, maggots are little worms. Fuck! <laughs> Legitimately, this level does go on too long. This has nothing to do with me getting lost for a hot minute. That wasn't really a hot minute, but... Well, maybe it was. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to skip through a little bit of that. Eh. Two levels I really like come right after this. I really like the next two levels. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask what they entail. Oh yeah, no, no, no. you will be pleasantly I'm going, surprised. I will be surprised. The one is really hard though. It might take a few attempts. Really hard. Huh. It's got one of my favorite characters in video Ooh. games in it though. 